This is what they call love. My name is Carlene Anderson, and I am luckily out here in this lovely outdoors doing a photo shoot for Bambuka. And Bambuka makes these beautiful sunglasses. And they've made actually some especially for my face, which I absolutely adore. They're lightweight and they're very, very cool, aren't they? First I heard of Bamboo was through Bambuka. Um, through my management had, had, had come across the brand and was telling me about the causes for which it was being, for which they were being made, but I had never heard of glasses being made of um, bamboo, which I thought was fantastic because they're quite lightweight. Um, of course, you know, the practical purposes of them being eco-friendly and being used for the charitable purposes that they are for the dwellers in the east coast of South Africa who are going through these learning stages of sustaining themselves off of their own land and so forth. So it it works well for this, this charity. Um, on the other side of that, while contributing to that, you, you have these great looking glasses that are made out of something that doesn't fall off your face. I've been in the music business um, for the past 20, 20 years, odd years here in the UK. That's when I first started it professionally, but I grew up on music in the uh, church. My grandfather was a pastor of his church. My father was a pastor of his church. But my, in, initially I was gonna be a music teacher and I came upon this by chance and came across it with um, James Brown and with band members, my stepfather Bobby Bird and my mother Vicki Anderson and so forth, came over as a support act for them and stayed over here in the UK because I liked it and I just never went back. <laughs> what I'm working on now is a musical. Uh, it's about primarily my grandparents who raised me and their only daughter, my aunt who was my first vocal teacher. She um, died when I was 13 years old of breast cancer um, in 1970 and she was taught classically she, um, as well as being a, a gospel singer during the um, civil rights movement. And my grandfather was born in 1888, the first in his family to be born of, free of slavery. His mom had been born into slavery. And so I'm covering that 100 years in the U.S. to when I moved to the U.K. and all of the politics and the social issues and music that occurred during that time. So that's keeping me pretty busy from now and for the next foreseeable future. Um, but the musical ideally will be premiering next year and then carrying on from there. Is this what they call love?